Hey guys, good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon. It's Saturday, and I'm here to check up on the battery. Um, this morning, the comments are already funny. People saying that I'm going to blow up. Um, yeah. First, I guess we got to take our... Um, Trusty little uh, multimeter. Look at that, no fire, and we have a green light on the charger. 125 volts, that's pretty charged. You gotta take some precaution. Alright, time to put this battery back up on this car. Let's see how long it takes me. I'd say 20 minutes. Let's do it. I just gotta put this plug in there. This is the service disconnect. And I think we're ready to go. Here's a moment of truth. Will this car now drive? And will it charge? I don't know. Let's see. Well, first, let's see if it'll start. Okay. Boom. Ooh, look at that. That's the gauge for the battery going all the way up. Um, still says it has the wrench signs. And it still says the check engine light. Uh, I don't know, this is like the tire pressure sensor? I don't know, whatever, let's see. Oh, it goes. Yeah. It moves. Reverse. Yeah. All right, let's take it for a spin. Let's see how this thing feels. Alright, so it drives uh, fine. Now let's see what happens if we try to charge it. All kinds of stuff is going on. Okay, so yeah, the lights inside turn. And then it shows you the needle going on the positive side, which means energy is going into the battery. All right, this car is fully functional. And yeah, essentially all that was happening is that the battery had gone way too low. And that's why it wasn't letting us charge it before. Uh, simple procedure to bring the batteries back up using my Alcon charger. It's a charger that is not even the right voltage as the as the battery pack, but you know we just rewired it to be able to charge them. They're almost, I'd say they're 99% state of charge right now. Um, damn, that'd be cool if we could have this car road worthy so that we can take it around. I'd, I'd like to see what the range is, the real range of this thing, you know? So. It'd be cool to just go around circles here, deplete the battery completely just to see. But 
from what I understand, this car is so light and so aerodynamic that 18 kilowatts, kilowatt hours of battery almost gives this car a hundred miles, which is crazy. I'm gonna start turning this thing down soon um, so that we can experiment and get the most out of this thing before I have to give up my shop. I'm gonna talk to my business partners and see what we can do. If no one's willing to, you know, kind of step up and do the thing, I, I think I'm, I have to let this go as soon as possible. So that's where it's at. <laughs> guys so that is how you fix a dead battery on a smart car um I have a feeling that's how it works with most electric cars if your battery goes down below the safe point of the system then you can just take it apart get to the battery terminals charge each battery up to the level which now it, the charger thinks it's okay and then it will charge it back up that's how this thing work out. Um, it still has some signals there. I don't know what they mean. I don't know what they are. Maybe it's because it's missing a bunch of stuff. It doesn't have lights. It might have circuits to like let it know that it, all the stuff is missing. Um, so, um, what's next here? Uh, because of this whole discussion where I might have to get rid of this shop here uh, pretty soon. Um, I haven't talked to my business partners and see, you know, what kind of options they have if anybody's willing to kind of help me out. There's some ongoing projects here that that I'm not going to be able to to do and fulfill my obligations there because I have to give the space up, right? Um, anyways, if that any other stuff doesn't work, then that means I'm going to have to give this away pretty soon, you know, within a month. You know, probably by February I might be out of here. Um, that means I'm gonna try and kind of get to that. I need to, you know, we need to get the most out of this thing as possible. Um, I I don't need this space to do the the Tesla wall thing, the Tesla power wall thing, but I am gonna try to do that tomorrow. You see, there's stuff. I just need to come in here and spend a few hours and do it, shoot the stuff that I need, and then go home and edit it. And then we can try to make our viral video. And so, stay ready for tomorrow, guys. If everything works out, I'm gonna upload that video tomorrow, okay? Um, so you're watching this, what? You're watching this, today is what, Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday, right? So I'm gonna upload this video. You're watching this video on Sunday. Okay, so Monday morning, uh, get ready to share. I'm gonna give you instructions exactly what to do, all right? Um, I'm gonna, in the description, I'm gonna put like what to share. Share this on Instagram, share this, you know, phrase on Facebook, share this on whatever, on all the platforms. I'm gonna do that so that you can just go copy and paste and again if you know anybody that runs any kind of vlogging website or tech website that that is uh might find this interesting at all then do share it uh e e you know email it to them or share it however you know try to get the exposure um if we can get enough people to share it maybe we can get this thing to actually go viral and um and then that's a good experiment just to see, you know, what that looks like and how that works. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I think it's gonna be great. I think we're gonna learn a lot and I think we're gonna be able to spread uh, some of the DIY spirit, you know, that's the whole thing that we're doing here. So, um, stay tuned for tomorrow's video and be ready, all right? See you guys tomorrow, bye. Next week at the same time. Rock and roll. No, what is that? No, I don't like that.
Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also think about becoming our patron by following the patron link. Uh, and don't forget to follow me on social media. All right guys, see you guys tomorrow.